Buckle up for another adventure in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Today we are completing the East Hebra Sky Crystal Shrine quest, otherwise known as the Tananaut Shrine in the Hebra Mountain Sky. Thanks a bunch for tuning in, I'm Kat, and if you're a repeat offender here, welcome back to the channel. Now if you're a first timer, drop everything and smash that like and subscribe button. Now with all the formalities out of the way, let's kick back and get into the good stuff. This shrine is perched high up in the Hebra Mountain Sky. To reach it, you'll need to launch from the Paquita Stonegrove Skyview Tower. Once you are skybound, veer slightly to the left and soon you'll be facing northeast. Keep your eyes peeled for all sorts of floating debris and blocks. My advice? Make good use of Tulin's wind gust to stretch your stamina as far as it'll go. Then hop onto those floating blocks to gain the height and distance needed to reach the island with the shrine. Once you touch down, give activating the shrine a shot. You'll know you're on the right track when a vibrant green beam of light shoots up towards the crystal. To reach the crystal, do the hokey pokey and head towards that launcher. Then, turn the launcher just a little counterclockwise so that it faces this other island here. Climb aboard and let it launch you. When you get high enough, whip out your paraglider. We're heading to the east side of the island, toward the floating block. Look down below it on the side of the island, you'll see an opening blocked by vines. Glide over to it and once you touch down, get out your trusty blade and start slicing those vines. Make sure you clear enough space for a large vehicle. Inside, you'll find a floating block with a bunch of Zonai devices and behind some more vines, you'll spot the crystal. Grab that and you can build yourself a toting vehicle for all your toting needs. Oh, and don't forget to use the batteries lying around to ensure that you make it all the way there, just in case you don't have full stamina rings. So drive yourself out and go around and follow the beam of light until you reach the island. And once you're back at the island, grab that crystal and haul it and yourself onto land. Carry it over to the shrine hub and offer that crystal to reveal the shrine. With the quest part of the shrine done, it's time to head right inside. Welcome to Raru's Blessing, and here the only thing on the agenda is to stroll over to that chest, crack it open, and reveal a uh, dun, 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 topaz. Stuff that in your pouch and head over to the dragon ring. Now I think you know what this means. It's time to clock out. Alright boys and girls, I gotta burn rubber for now, but if you vibed with the video, drop a like and smash that subscribe button. And check out my killer merch. Don't just play, slay. Until next time, keep gaming, keep laughing, and keep learning. With that being said, this is KK Jinx, over and out.